in this lecture we will learn about composite systems now what are composite systems composite systems are nothing but a system consisting of multiple bars or tubes and they are connected in such a way that when subjected to loads or the variations in temperature they produce equal changes in length equal changes in length okay now the bars or tubes in composite systems can be of same material or they can be different okay so that's about composite system now let's take a composite system uh, there are three bars 1 2 then 3 and they are rigidly connected together this is rigid this is rigid now these bar are, are of different materials and different cross sectional areas let's take a1 as the cross sectional area of the bar 1 and a1 be the young modulus of the bar 1 and in the same way a2 e2 be the cross sectional area and young's modulus of the bar 2 and then 3 will have a3 e3 okay now let's assume that a load p is being applied to the system of these three bars okay and let's assume p1 be the force taken by the by the bar 1 p2 force taken by the bar 2 and p3 the force taken by the bar 3 okay so we know from the force equilibrium p will be equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 okay now let's just delete this now we know that p is equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 we got this from summation fy equal to 0 if equilibrium equilibrate the force p1 be the force now let's see what p1 will be equal to we know p1 be p1 will be equal to delta l by l into a1 e1 this is from the basic stress strain relationship that e1 will be equal to p1 by a1 divided by delta l by l this is young's modulus which is equal to stress by strain from this we can get p1 similarly we have p2 delta l by l now we have the same elongation as i told in the definition of the composite system both the, all the bars in a composite system will have the same change in length okay so delta l will be the same a2 e2 now the initial length of all the bars was l okay then p3 will be equal to delta l by l a3 e3 from this we can say p is equal to by substituting the values of p1 p2 p3 in this equation we have p1 
P is equal to delta L by L multiplied by A1 E1 plus A2 E2 plus A3 E3. Okay. So the change in length will be equal to PL by A1 E1 plus A2 E2 plus A3 E3. Now we can write this in a generalized way. PL summation AI EI for all I. Okay. So after this first let me read this. So I'm writing the first result we got here that the change in length in the composite system will be equal to P into L divided by summation AI EI for all I. For all I. Okay. Now after this we should see what will be the load taken by the bars. As we know P1 was equal to delta L by L A1 E1. Okay. Now by substituting the value of delta L here we can get P A1 E1 A1 E1 plus A2 E2 plus A3 E3. Okay. This L will get cancelled out from this L and we will have P1 equal to P into A1 E1 divided by A1 E1 plus A2 E2 plus A3 E3. So this AE term is known as axial rigidity. And from here we can see that the load shared by individual bars are in the ratio of their axial rigidities. Similarly, P2 will be equal to P multiplied by A2 E2 divided by A1 E1 plus A2 E2 plus A3 E3. And similarly, for P3, we can write P A3 E3 and summation AI EI for I equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now we have three results, uh, two results here. We can, we have the change in length. We have the load shared by all the bars. Finally, we can also find out the stress in bars. Stress in bars will not be nothing but the load shared by the individual bar divided by the area of the individual bar. So if you do this, you get a stress in generalized form like P EI divided by summation I equal to 1 to N AI EI. You just have to divide by the respective areas. This A will get cancelled out and you'll have this expression. So we have three expression now. Let me write it again. So we have here. First we found out load taken by the bars. It was if I is the ith bar, then PI was P AI EI divided by summation AI EI for all I's. Then there was stress in each bar. For ith bar, the stress was P into EI divided by summation 
for all i is a i e i okay now if we see the expression of change in length we can have our equivalent young's modulus of the composite system equivalent young's modulus of composite system okay so delta l for this composite system was pl divided by summation ai ei now what equivalent young modulus of this compute system would be if this system is replaced by a single bar of same length l and having cross sectional area equal to summation ai that means the total cross sectional area a1 plus a2 plus a3 is in one bar of a single material so delta l now e will be e equivalent for this now delta l for this bar will be equal to p l summation ai and e equivalent now by just comparing these two now as it is the equivalent system the change in length should also be equal from this we can find out e equivalent pl pl will get cancelled out and this e equivalent will be equal to summation ai ei divided by summation ai so this is your equivalent young modulus for composite system so that's it for now we'll meet in the next class bye